massage technique in my work all the time. And in my book, Grandma's Purple Flowers, for example, I use the cut paper collage technique throughout. Okay, let's get started. I'm starting with a simple head shape that's cut out of construction paper. And basically, we're using very simple materials. Glue, scissors, construction paper, a variety of colors, maybe some tissue paper, and some painted papers that I had painted earlier. So we're starting with this simple shape for the head and neck. We're gluing that down on paper using this glue stick. Pacing that down. Not all the way to the bottom because we want to leave room for the shirt. Then I'm taking some white square shapes to create an oval for the eyes. Rounding the corners. Now these get glued down also. I'm going to make a grandma. Okay, and then I'm taking a square shape. And again, we're using basic geometric shapes to create the features in our portrait. It is a triangle, and I fold it in half to give it a little dimension. And then I'm going to glue it down at the top, like so. I'll take a strip of red. Again, I'm making an oval shape. And I'm cutting that in half to make the mouth. Okay. And then I think I should start over here. So I'm going to put glue around here. And I have torn strips of construction paper that I'm going to use for the hair. And these have been torn as opposed to cut with paper. I'm tearing this edge. Putting that down here. For the hair. Grandma has kind of a grayish hair. painted papers for her clothing and I'm thinking this was a sheet that I painted previously I think that would make an interesting blouse for her so I'm going to cut this down cut the top down a little bit like so I'm going to round these two edges to make a shoulder that's going to be glued down here, round it a little bit more. And again, we're working with basic geometric shapes. I'm going to cut a triangular shape, triangle shape, out of the middle so that can be her neckline. And I'm going to glue that down as well. I have grandma's blouse. And I think I'm going to take one of these pieces of tissue paper. I'm going to cut out a circle. Take that circle and kind of squeeze the middle and make a little flower that can go in her hair. There you go. So you have grandma, triangle shape. These are going to be some earrings that match her. Blouse. Okay. So there 